I am Sabita Valsang and welcome to my YouTube channel Statistics Made Simple. In this video, we will learn how to compute the probabilities under the standard normal curve using the statistical tables. So let's start first with the normal distribution. The normal distribution curve has the center line as x equal to mu. The three dotted lines on the right tail of the curve are mu plus sigma, mu plus 2 sigma, mu plus 3 sigma which continue up to infinity and the three dotted lines on the left hand side are mu minus sigma, mu minus 2 sigma, mu minus 3 sigma which continue up to minus infinity. We know that x follows normal with the parameters mu comma sigma square. Here the mean is mu and the variance is denoted by sigma square. In the standard normal distribution, you see that the standard normal curve has the center line as z equal to 0. The three dotted lines on the right tail of the curve are 1, 2, 3 which continue up to infinity. And the three dotted lines on the left tail of the curve are minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 which continue up to minus infinity. Now the difference between a normal and standard normal distribution is when mu is equal to 0 and the variance sigma square is equal to 1, the normal distribution gets converted into the standard normal distribution. And z is called as a standard normal variate, which has the formula z equal to x minus mu by sigma, which follows normal 0, 1. Now, let's see how the area under the normal curve from z to infinity looks like. So in the first column you have z values from 0 to 3.5 and then you have columns from 0 to 9. Similarly, the area under the normal curve from minus z to infinity, the first column has z values from minus 3.5 to minus 0 and you have columns from 0 to 9. Let us now learn how to find the probabilities using the area under the normal curve tables. Example 1. Find probability of z greater than 0. So let us first draw the standard normal curve where the center line is z equal to 0 and mark the extremities as minus infinity and infinity. Now because you have the sign greater than you have to shade to the right of the value 0. So in the curve you see that we have shaded in yellow from 0 to infinity. So now write consider probability of z greater than 0 which is equal to area from 0 to infinity that is the area which you have shaded. So now we know that the area from the center line to infinity is 0 0.5. So therefore, probability of z greater than 0 is 0 0.5. Example 2. Find probability of z less than 0. So draw the standard normal curve. The center line is z equal to 0 and the extremities are minus infinity and infinity. Now, because the sign is less than, you have to shade towards the left of the value 0. So in other words, you have to shade from 0 to minus infinity like we have done in yellow color. So consider probability of z less than 0 which is equal to the area which you have shaded that is area from 0 to minus infinity. Now you know that the total area under the normal curve is 1. In other words, the area from 0 to minus infinity will be 0 0.5. So therefore, probability of z less than 0 is equal to 0 0.5. Example 3. Find probability of z greater than 1. So first draw the standard normal curve. The center line is z equal to 0. The extremities are minus infinity and infinity. 
Now 1 is a positive value so mark it on the right tail of the curve and greater than 1 means you to shade to the right side of the value 1. So shade from 1 to infinity in green color. Next consider probability of z greater than 1. So the area which you have shaded write it inwards as area from 1 to infinity. Now let's consider the area under the normal curve table from z to infinity. In the first column search for the value 1.0 and under column 0 you will find the probability as 0 0.1587. Therefore, probability of z greater than 1 is 0 0.1587. Example 4. Find probability of z less than 1. So draw the standard normal curve, the center line as z equal to 0 the extremities as minus infinity and infinity. Now 1 is a positive value so mark it on the right tail of the curve and less than 1 means you have to shade to the left side of the value 1. In other words shade from 1 to minus infinity. Then write consider probability of z less than 1 which will be equal to the area which you have shaded that is area from 1 to minus infinity. Now remember that the area under the normal curve tables can be used only from z or minus z to infinity. Then write the sentence that since the normal distribution is symmetric area from 1 to minus infinity will be the same as the area from minus 1 to infinity. Now consider the area under the normal curve from minus z to infinity and in the column z search for minus 1.0 and under column 0 you will get the probability as 0 0.8413 or probability of z less than 1 is 0 0.8413. Example 5. Find probability of z less than minus 1.5. So first draw the standard normal curve. The center line is z equal to 0. The extremities are minus infinity and infinity. Now minus 1.5 is a negative value. So mark it on the left tail of the curve. And because we have the less than symbol, you have to shade to the left of the value minus 1.5. So in orange color we have shaded from minus 1.5 to minus infinity. So consider probability of z less than minus 1.5. This will be equal to the area which we have shaded in orange color that is area from minus 1.5 to minus infinity. Now remember that the area under the normal curve can be obtained only from z or minus z to infinity. So write the sentence that since the normal distribution is symmetric, this will be equal to area from 1.5 to infinity. Now let's consider the area under the normal curve from z to infinity. In the z column look for the value 1.5 and under column 0 you will find the probability as 0 0.0668. Therefore probability of z less than minus 1.5 is equal to 0 0.0668. Example 6. Find probability of z greater than 0 0.75. So first draw the standard normal curve. The center line is z equal to 0 and the extremity is minus infinity and infinity. Now 0 0.75 is a positive value so mark it on the right tail of the curve and because we have the greater than sign you have to shade to the right side of the value 0 0.75. So we have shaded from 0 0.75 to infinity. So now write consider probability of z greater than 
0 0.75 this will be equal to the area which we have shaded in green color that is area from 0 0.75 to infinity so let's consider the area under the normal curve from z to infinity and now in the z column first take only one digit after the decimal so search for 0 0.7 and under column 5 you will get the probability as 0 0.2266 Therefore, probability of z greater than 0 0.75 is equal to 0 0.2266. Example 7. Find probability of z greater than minus 0 0.92. So, draw the standard normal curve. The center line is z equal to 0. The extremities as minus infinity and infinity. Minus 0 0.92 is a negative value so mark it on the left tail of the curve and greater than minus 0 0.92 means you have to shade from minus 0 0.92 to infinity. Now write consider probability of z greater than minus 0 0.92 and the area which you have shaded in blue color you write it in words as area from minus 0 0.92 to infinity. Now let's consider the area under the normal curve from minus z to infinity. Now in the z column first search for minus 0 0.9 and under column 2 you will get the probability as 0 0.8212. Therefore probability of z greater than minus 0 0.92 is 0 0.8212. Example 8. Find probability of minus 3 less than z less than 3. So draw the standard normal curve. The center line is z equal to 0. The extremities are minus infinity and infinity. Now minus 3 is a negative value so mark it on the left tail of the curve. 3 is a positive value so mark it on the right tail of the curve. Now z is lying between minus 3 and 3. So you have to do the shading only between these two values. So I have shaded in pink color between the values minus 3 and 3. Now let's write consider probability of minus 3 less than z less than 3. What will it be equal to? It will be equal to the area which you have shaded in pink color. That is the area between minus 3 and 3. Now let's observe the standard normal curve. We have a big flap bracket which is drawn from minus 3 to infinity and a smaller flap bracket which is drawn from 3 to infinity. So the shaded area will be nothing but the bigger flap bracket area minus the smaller flap bracket area. That is area from minus 3 to infinity minus the area from 3 to infinity. Now let's consider the area under the normal curve from minus z to infinity. So under the z column search for minus 3.0 and under column 0 you will find the probability as 0 0.9987. Similarly let's consider the area again under the normal curve from z to infinity. Under z search for 3.0 and under column 0 the probability is 0 0.0013. So probability of minus 3 less than z less than 3 will be 0 0.9987 minus 0 0.0013 which is 0 0.9974. Example 9. Find probability of 0 0.75 less than z less than 1.25 so after you draw the standard normal curve now observe that 0 0.75 and 1.25 are both positive values so mark them on the right tail of the curve in correct order so first you'll have 0 0.75 and later you'll have 1.25 now because z is lying between these two values you have to shade only between these two values and we have shaded in purple color between 0 0.75 and 1.25 and 
and draw a big flower bracket from 0.75 to infinity and another small bracket from 1.25 to infinity. So consider probability of 0.75 less than z less than 1.25. This is equal to the area which you have shaded that is area between 0.75 and 1.25 which is equal to the bigger flower bracket area minus the smaller flower bracket area. That means area from 0.75 to infinity minus area from 1.25 to infinity. So let's consider the area under the normal curve from z to infinity. Under the z column first search for 0.7 and under column find the probability is 0.2266 and the area under the normal curve from z to infinity search for the value z 1.2 and under column 5 the probability is 0.1056. So probability of 0.75 less than z less than 1.25 is equal to 0.2266 minus 0.1056 which is equal to 0.121 please practice these nine examples several times using the area under the normal curve statistical tables this video will help you immensely in solving problems on a normal distribution. Thank you for watching and in my next video we will find solutions to problems based on the normal distribution.